Ever notice that tiny hole on the bottom of a padlock? Its hidden purpose is to drain water and help prevent corrosion. It's also the most convenient place to lubricate the padlock. A drop of oil in there will make it open and close much easier. The hole in a lollipop stick is not a free whistle that you might have assumed. In fact, it's designed to save your life. The hole stops a person from choking if it gets stuck in their throat. If you struggle to peel an orange, there's actually a secret way to get into it efficiently. Cut into the peel at the top and bottom, make a slit on one side, and then just pull it open. Yogurt is a great healthy snack to eat, provided you have a spoon with you. But if you don't, I've got a trick for you! All you need to do is twist the foil lid from the yogurt pot into the shape of a spoon. If you can't just get rid of the food stuck in your teeth, you might not be using dental floss the right way. It can be hard to get perfect results with loose floss. To increase the tension, tie it in a knot. That way, it won't hurt your hands as well. Grocery carts have metal loops on the sides for a reason. You don't really want to put your jacket in the cart next to the onions, do you? So hang it on one of the loops. These little things can help organize the space in your cart better. We all keep our pans in oven drawers. They're designed for kitchenware, after all. But there's another way to use them that's even more useful. These drawers can actually keep your dish hot for a while without overcooking it. Remember that the next time your friends are running late for dinner. Plastic cup lids can become super handy cup holders. There are three small bulges on the reverse side, and the cup fits in there perfectly. No more coffee stains. Pretty much everyone who's ever been in a public toilet knows what paper seat covers are for. But many people find them inconvenient, and that's mainly because they don't know how to use them the right way. The flap should be placed right in front of you and drop down into the bowl. Have you ever seen those weird cylinders on cables? They're actually handier than they seem because they can help reduce high-frequency interference. The little sharp point on the cap of an ointment tube is there for a reason, too. Most tubes are usually sealed with foil, and it's better to avoid opening it with your fingers unless you're ready to say goodbye to your nails. The point on the cap can open even the best sealed tube without a problem. The small bumps on the F and J keys on your keyboard have a little known purpose. They can help you find the right key even without looking at the keyboard. Pretty cool if you want to start blind typing. Ever notice the hole in a ruler? It's there if you want to place it on a hook or draw a perfect circle. Take a look at your iPhone. You see that weird little dot between the camera and the flash? Well, that's a microphone. It's used for recording with the back camera. Everyone's eaten a Tic Tac at least once in their life, but most people don't know how to get them out of the box properly. If you don't want to eat the 20 of them that ended up in your hand, use this trick. Shake the box, turn it upside down, pull the lid, and voila! Now you'll get just one Tic Tac every time. The tiny plastic disc under the lid of your bottle of soda is not there as part of some competition. It's actually what keeps your drink fizzy. While the cap stops the liquid leaking out, this plastic disc holds the gases inside. Without this thing, cola would just be sweet water. If you've ever tried to use the blue side of your eraser to get rid of ink, your notebook probably ended up with holes in it. The blue part is actually meant to be used to erase pencil marks from thicker types of paper. It does work with ink as well, but make sure the paper is really thick. Stick sachets of sugar or salt are easier to open than many people think. There's no need to tear off one of the ends. The right way is actually to tear them down the middle. You might think there's no big difference, but at least you'll have fewer bits of paper. Driving on the highway can be stressful, and identifying the right exit lane is sometimes really tricky. But there's actually a simple way to work it out. If the exit sign is aligned to the right, it means the exit is on the right. And if it's aligned to the left, yeah, you got it. There's no need to gnaw on chicken wings. Just find the biggest protrusion of bones in the wing. First twist the skinnier bone, wiggle it, and then pull it right out. Now you can enjoy your boneless chicken. Bottles have long necks for a reason. Hold the neck, not the bottle, if you want to enjoy a cold drink. The same goes for fancy glasses. Holding it by the stem stops it from being heated up by your hand. Most people don't associate takeaway food with fancy dinners. But a takeout container can still be turned into a plate. 
you just have to unfold it correctly. Does two zips for one section of your bag seem like too much? Maybe, but it's actually a great safeguard against pickpocketing. You can put a small lock between the two zippers to make sure no one can open your backpack. The slits on a box cutter blade are there to help you snap off a piece of it when it wears out. To do so safely, use the lid from the other side of the box cutter. Place it on the blade and bend it to break a section off. A pack of cotton pads has those strings attached so you can hang it on a hook or holder. And there's no need to unfasten the pack every time. Look at the bottom, it has that perforated line. Tear along it and now you can pull the pads out easily. The button on the back of a shirt collar is there to hold a tie in place. Although with skinny ties being popular nowadays, it's become mostly decorative. Pom-poms on clothing sure look nice, but they also used to have a purpose behind them. There's one unusual theory for how they came about. French sailors used to hit their heads against the cabins of their boats when out on the oceans. So they invented pom-poms to soften the bump. All running shoes basically have an anti-blister system in their design. See that extra shoelace hole at the top of your sneakers? Make two loops with these holes by inserting the loose laces into them. Cross the laces over and insert them into the loops. Then pull the laces down and you'll create a kind of lock to keep your feet snug in your shoes.